Hello everyone and welcome to Adam Shar Weekly. And in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create multiple sheets in SwiftUI. Now, one of the requirements in our application can be that we have a button which will say show add. And we have another button over here which can be show details. And when you press the button show add, then we want to present a view in a modal sheet. And we, when you press the show details, we want to present a different sheet with a different view. So how, how can we achieve that? Now you can obviously go ahead and create different state variables, which is one for show add sheet and then show detail sheet. But you can also use enums to represent different variations of the sheet in your application. So I'm going to go ahead and create sheets and as an enum, and we will have add and we will have a detail. And just for fun, we're also going to pass in a product into the detail and we will create the product. So product, which has an ID, which is UUID and a product can also have a name. Now I'm writing all this code in the same file, but you can distribute this. This can be in the model file. This can be in some other file. Okay. So we have created this sheets enum, and now we can pass it to our sheets modifier. First, I'm going to go ahead and create a type. I will call it active sheet, which is our type sheets. And since we don't really have any sheet selected, so it can be optional or nullable. On my VStack, now I can go ahead and say sheet. And you can see that sheet does come up with several overloads. One of them is is presented, which is a binding of Boolean. But the other one is binding of identifiable. So anyone who is conforming to identifiable can be passed over here. So over here, we can try to pass in our active sheet. In the content, let me go back over here. The second argument is basically a closure that's going to give you the identifiable unwrapped. So whatever you're going to pass over here as the first argument, that will be unwrapped and given to you. And then in this closure, you have to return a view. Well, a couple of different problems we can see over here right now. The first problem is it's telling you that the sheet over here must conform to identifiable. And our sheet over here in the enum is not conforming to identifiable. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and say identifiable. Now, if I just say identifiable, um, it's not really going to work because I do need to implement the ID. All right. So we need to return some sort of an ID from sheets. Now, there is there are many ways that you can do that. We can go ahead and say ID as a UUID and simply return UUID. For our case, it would be okay and it will work. But the ID that you return for identifiable, it usually in the case, it should be reproducible. All right, so how can we create this ID? So let's go ahead and do that. There are many different ways of creating the ID, by the way. I'm just going to show you a other a small way. So I'm just going to go ahead and say self on the switch or switch on the self. And if it is add, then I'm just going to return some sort of an ID. All right. So this can be any ID that you want. Uh, we don't have access to the product right now. So I can go ahead and return ID one. Right. And then for the detail, once we get the product, we can return the ID as product dot ID dot UU ID string. All right. Now, obviously, this ID over here is not really good. It's just one. Uh, so you can, you can create some sort of a unique ID that you are representing and that should be okay too. The point is whatever ID that you're returning, which is because you're conforming to identifiable, uh, make sure that it is unique and it is Something that can be reproduced later on so that 
in cases of animations and all that, it can definitely help. In our case, I can go ahead and return UUID uh, dot string, and that should be okay. All right. So this is up to you that what exactly you're going to be returning as an ID. Sometimes people return hash value over here, like an integer, but hash value is not really completely unique because it is dependent on, you know, the properties that you're hashing. So this means that two different things having the same properties with the same value will produce the same hash. So you have to be careful over there also. All right. So depending on the app, you will return something over here in the ID that is unique and reproducible. So over here, we're returning the product.id.uuid string. And this is just an example. I mean, don't always use this particular approach. This actually depends on your application. As I mentioned, I can return over here uuid.string and all that stuff, and it will also work fine, okay? Okay, so now let's go ahead and move to the final part, which we're, we're going to get access to the sheet. And now we can perform a switch on the sheet. Case, if it's add, then we will return a view, add. And case, if it's detail, we will get access to the product. And we can return a text with that particular product name. So we can say product.name. All right. Now in the show add, we can set the active sheet to be add. And since the active sheet property is set to state variable, it is going to get fired and all of this will be evaluated. So add property is going to be assigned to active sheet, which is a binding property. So it's going to get activated over here. And then we will view the text view with add. Same thing with show details, but it's a little bit different with show details because it is detail and we have to pass in a certain product. Certain product with an ID, which is UUID, and is some sort of a string. So this can be anything, you know, toys. Now, obviously, in your real app, you wouldn't be doing that probably. You are getting a product from somewhere, some sort of a service which is returning, API service returning you, and, uh, you know, displaying all of that stuff. Uh, so the ID will be maintained over there. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at it and let's go ahead and run it. I'm going to click on show add and you can see that the view for the text view is getting displayed. So that's perfectly fine. And show details this time, the text view with the show details coming up. All right. So we have created our enum of sheets and we are able to show multiple sheets based on that. And you can see that it's not much of work to accomplish this. So instead of using dot sheet dot sheet and multiple sheets, we just created an enum, made sure that it is conforming to identifiable, and we simply used it. Please make sure once again that this ID, this is up to you to how to produce this ID. All right. So in certain situations, as I mentioned, creating an ID, UUID dot string will work. In our situation, it will work. But in other situations, you will have to make sure that this ID that you're returning is just unique and something that can be reproduced. Uh, maybe something with uh, like animations and all those things. A lot of stuff can happen if you create these IDs which are unique but not reproducible. All right. Okay. And uh, that is uh, pretty much it. Hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you. If you like this video and want to support my channel, then the best way would be to check out my courses on Udemy. You can see that I have a lot of courses on iOS development, including the building augmented reality in Reality Kit and AR Kit. I also have courses for declarative Swift UI interfaces and core data, as well as MVVM design pattern in UI Kit, which is right here. So definitely check out my courses. You can find the link for my courses right there in the description. Thank you so much, and I really hope that you enjoyed the videos.